So single leg eccentric focused uh, prone line leg curls are phenomenal. It's a phenomenal movement. I'm gonna show you today on this uh, cool cross axis tech prone leg curl. So this is the machine here. You can see it's, it's brother, the uh, cross axis tech leg extension, both phenomenal pieces. Unfortunately, Henry stopped making this uh, prone leg curl and he's only got a couple left of this uh, leg extension that he's not making anymore. But the cool thing is it's, it's center driven and the leverage is phenomenal. So this is a cool, simple technique you can do to overload the hamstrings. Um, where, you know, you can do it two ways. One way is where you load a ton of weight and you bring it up with two legs and drop it down with one leg. This way I'm just using one leg in the concentric and the eccentric, but I'm really focusing on the eccentric, taking my time and going slowly. Um, Definitely use much less weight when you're doing one leg at a time. And here you can see I'm dorsiflexing my foot on the way up and I'm plantar flexing on the way down, making the eccentric harder and making it so I can really milk uh, those fibers. But I'm still very much a fan of uh, single leg movement of all different varieties. This is just another variation you can do to really hammer those hammies. You can see I like to follow it by raising my hips, raising my torso up to keep my hip extended as much as possible as it gets towards the bottom of the eccentric. But the strength curve on this machine is phenomenal. There's a beautiful built-in stretch. Um, there's a nice taper at the end. If the the roller, if the pad was was a sort of a roller shape rather than flat, it would be perfect. Uh, but as is, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal machine. I mean, definitely one of my top uh, prone leg curls. Uh, for those of you guys that have used a center driven prone leg curl versus one that's loaded on the side, there's definitely a difference. This is just me hitting that bottom third of the movement, which just hammers the quad. You can see here again, after I've really fatigued, I just kind of pulse that bottom third that's the sweet spot of this movement for sure yeah the main downside is you you have to use smaller plates because 45 pound plates the diameter is too big to fit that hole um and i would prefer if the pad was was a roller pad rather than a flat pad those are my two only uh sort of criticisms of the machine itself but leverage wise uh feel wise biomechanical wise it's a top two top three uh, prone leg curl so tell me what you guys think about that movement in that machine. Uh, like, comment, subscribe below. Have an amazing day.